So if you're watching this video, then chances are you've probably spent a bit of time with the Google Keyword Tool, and you've probably downloaded some CSV files and maybe opened them up in Microsoft Excel. And maybe you've tried to plan out a content strategy or even just needed to determine which keywords you'd like to use in a particular document on your website. So Microsoft Excel is pretty good for that. I've been using Excel since I was a little kid. I use it every day still. So, But you've probably realized that as your website gets bigger, as you start adding keywords and content to your website, then working with keywords in Excel gets a bit difficult pretty fast. So a major inspiration behind the construction of Keyword Organizer was to finally give people a way to have a real desktop database application that allows them to really get control of their CSV files, to finally create a robust solution for managing thousands of keywords on your website. So as with any database tool where you have lots of data, there's a pretty difficult set of functions you're going to need. And so when I was designing Keyword Organizer, I made a list of things that I was personally looking for in an SEO tool at the time. And here's what I came up with. So first of all, it has to be really easy to import data, particularly the data from the Google Keyword Tool CSV files. Since Google's tool is so foundational to SEO, and those CSV files are kind of the bread and butter of the daily SEO grind. So it has to be easy to bring those in. Second, easy to search within the data. And third, easy to filter the data. Now, by filtering here, I mean when you create a filtered view, like when you only want to see keywords that have a search volume greater than 1,000 searches per month, for example. So it has to be easy to filter out some of the keywords by some criteria you specify. And number four, the last one, it has to be easy to export the data. Like I mentioned before, I love Microsoft Excel. And for some things, it's just really convenient to just have this simple white grid to lay out all your data, it's still really useful. And so exporting data to an XLS file is a pretty important feature. So okay, so those were my goals when designing the keyword grid. Now let's take a look and see how Keyword Organizer handles these tasks. So in requirement one, it has to be easy to import data. So importing CSV files into Keyword Organizer is pretty simple. All you do is click import and then just drag the CSV files into the blue drop zone here. And that's pretty much it, it's, it's simple. In requirement two, it's, it's gotta be easy to search within the data. So searching for keywords is pretty easy. All you do is go to the keyword column and type in the words you're looking for. So on our example diet website, if I was searching for high carb, then I just type high carb and we can see keyword organizer will just list all the words that contain this phrase. Now, if I wanna see all the keywords that contain the phrase high carb and the word diet, then I just put an uppercase and here and type high carb and diet. And you can see the words come up. So it's cool because you can enter logical expressions right here in the search box. And that makes finding keywords really easy. In requirement three, let's say we wanted to filter our data and show only the words that were searched for at least uh, 100 times per month. So then I just type in greater than or equal to 100. And there they are. So you can see in this filtered view, we're just showing all the keywords in our project, which contain the word high carb and the word diet and haven't searched for greater than or equal to 100 times per month. It's easy. And of course, you can do this with all the columns. Now, in the last requirement, requirement four, we need to be able to easily export our data. So you can export to a CSV file, of course. But a cool thing about Keyword Organizer is that you can export to a native XLS format meaning that you can export your data directly to Microsoft Excel. So you don't have to bring in that ugly data from a CSV file where you have to change column sizes and fonts and stuff like that. What we've done is we've already formatted the Excel document for you. So you can export your data as a native XLS file and then open it up. And you have a nice, pretty formatted Excel document to work with.